You tell me what number you can read on this parcel because this whole farce comes down to the Royal Mail's ability to read the address. So where do I begin? On the 3rd of May I sold a camera. If you have been following the channel you may have seen the video I put out. I sold a Mew 2 for £300 and I was thrilled with the sale. It was a great sale and I thought I would send it special delivery you know because it's an expensive item and I wanted it to get there and get there fast because the buyer actually wanted it by the Thursday and I was shipping it on the Tuesday so it needed to get there quick so I thought yeah fine I'll pay for Royal Mail's like top level of um, service right to get this expensive camera there I'll pop the picture of the camera in here to remind you of what it was and, and you can see how much it sold for and yeah I was thrilled with that sale anyway so that sold on the 3rd of May and it is now what is it now it's now the 24th of May and guess where the camera is? It's here, it's just arrived back with me. <sighs> Let me try and explain. Well if I go into the tracking um, it gives you some of the story of what has been going on with this. So um, that's when we sold it and I provided the tracking number, delivery attempt, no answer, Available for re-delivery or collection due to be delivered today. Available for re-delivery or collection due to be delivered today. Delivery attempt, no answer. And this goes up to the 12th of May, which is like, what's that, 12 days ago. So that's not even the whole story. So my buyer was wondering where it was. She needed it for the Thursday and got in touch to say it hasn't arrived. And I was like, well, that's odd. I sent it special delivery to get there next day. I checked the tracking and I could see that they had attempted delivery. So I said, well, do you have a card? You should be able to go and just collect it. She's like, nope, no card. And I was thinking, well, what's going on? This doesn't make sense. Anyway, Thursday came and went. No sign of it. No sign of a card at her end. She went and did her own kind of investigations at her local sorting office. Somehow managed to find out that yes, they did have her parcel and they'd been, try they'd been trying to deliver it to number 23 of her road. Her address is 2B. So at this point, she had the tracking number and the postcode and they said, well, we can arrange to deliver it to your correct address. That's what they told her. But that's not what happened. They tried to deliver it to 23 again. And again, I think, I'll show you the parcel in a minute. You can see, I think it's five attempts maybe they had at delivering it to the wrong address. Let me show you the parcel actually first. And let me, you tell me what number you can read on this parcel because this whole farce comes down to the Royal Mail's ability to read the address. Right, have a look at this. So here's the parcel. Now obviously I have masked out the address and the name for privacy details but the house number was 2B. Right, and that's what I wrote. They delivered or tried to deliver, not, I don't know if that's a delivery attempt, but certainly one, two, three, four, five, five, six. I don't know how many of these are delivery attempts. Certainly those four dates there. They delivered or tried to deliver to 23. That's what my customer was told. And when I phoned them up, that's what they were telling me. They had on their system, this was going to 23. Now, I can kind of see that if you ignore the upright line, maybe that's a three. But I put the upright line there for a reason. But that is why it couldn't get delivered. But you'd think during one of these attempts and somebody had eyes on this address, somebody would have figured that out. Or 
at the point where my customer got in touch with them and spoke to that sorting office and explained the confusion and they said, oh, I see, we'll deliver it to 2B for you. We'll change that, we can do that. She had this conversation. Still, they tried to deliver it to 23. Then she was a bit, to be fair to my customer, she has been amazingly patient, right? But by this point, she was getting a little bit cheesed off. So she got in touch with me and she said, can you do anything? So I rang up the Royal Mail and I was on the phone the first time, 45 minutes to an hour, maybe. And I explained it all again. And the chap said, OK, yes, I'm happy that you're the sender. You know, I had the tracking number. I knew the address. I explained the problem and he said, OK, fine, I will change the delivery address and make sure it goes to 2B, not 23. What did they do? They attempted delivery at 23 again. So I'd, in the meantime, I'd promised my customer, it's coming. They're going to deliver it to 2B because I've told them, like you have, that's the address that's written on the parcel. And they didn't. So she got in contact again and asked me to ring them again, which I did. And this time I said, I explained it. And I said, look, send it back to me. I don't trust your ability to deliver this item anymore. Can I have it back, please? Is that possible? And they managed that. So now I, ha I have the camera. You know, the box has not been tampered with. The camera, hopefully, is safe and sound in there. And as I said, my customer through all of this has been amazing, incredibly patient and understanding that it's not my fault and just as frustrated as I am. She still wants the camera. I am going to send it out again, but I'm going to use UPS. And whatever I was charged, let's see what I was charged for this. Um, 7.65 I was charged. I was told I could put a claim in that it was the Royal Mail's issue that they couldn't deliver it. So I haven't had the service I paid for. So I'll have a go at doing that, maybe. You know, is it going to be worth my time? But there you go. So I would love to know if you read 2B and not 23. Do you want one more look at that? There it is. That's the cause of all of this palaver. 2 capital B. Or as they read it, 23. Ah, <laughs> oh, nightmare. Now you may ask, why didn't I use my click and drop account and get a printed out label, which I would normally do. It wasn't a shipping day. So I didn't want to go through the whole palaver of getting an order done on the click and drop account and printing off a manifest, etc., just for one. So I just drove up to the post office and did it over the counter. So I hand wrote the label and that seemed to have caused the problem. Anyway, it is not the end of the world. I have the camera back. My customer, as I keep saying, has been amazingly understanding through all of this. It could have been so much worse. I'm going to ship it out using a different service and keep my fingers crossed that it gets to 2B, <laughs> not 23 this time. I wonder as well if somebody at 23 has had somebody banging on the door like five times or more and they've gone that's not my name they don't live here and turning it away <laughs> or have they got a stack of cards at their house come and collect your parcel I don't know it's all very confusing isn't it so it's all ready to go with UPS now I've added an extra note please note house number is 2B B Thanks. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Anyway, rant over. 
Um, I will pop another video up here of when things go wrong, so if you enjoy this sort of video, please check this one out. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.